morning. This is hopefully going to be a pretty quick video about this J5019. This is a, I believe it's a TP4056 based battery charger, but this one also has an extra thing where it has a boost converter on it so that it can uh, boost the voltage from uh, I think it's like 5 volts all the way up to 27 volts. It can charge a lithium-ion battery up to 1 amp. It uh, comes already set to charge at 1 amp. You can change that by replacing this resistor here and uh, the it only reduces the charging voltage or the charging current. Um, it, there's nothing to increase it. One amp is the max. Uh, let's see, we're going to do a real quick thing here. It can be charged with either a USB, a little mini USB cable, and it draws about five or, s well, it's supposed to draw about 1.2 amps max or one amp. You can also connect power in and you can run voltage from 5 to 8 volts in for charging. You hook up a battery here and you hook up your load here. And uh, this device, for some reason, even though that you can connect any lithium po lipo battery or lithium ion battery to it, single cell only, it has a cutoff voltage of 2.5 volts, which is kind of too low for that kind of thing. You, you really want it to cut off around 3 volts. But like I said, it can be run used with any single cell lithium ion battery. Uh, you can use it with The 18650, but I, if you, I recommend that if you do use it with an 18650, you either get one of these little BMSs that you can attach to your 18650, and then run it to this, or you get an 18650 with built-in protection, and you can tell that because the, the size, it's longer. There's, there's an actual battery protection circuit in here. You can also use any of these uh, gum packs and this one has a little lithium, a little uh, battery protection circuit here. Uh, there's also a red LED when you hook it up to power, it will turn red, and then when it's done charging, the red light goes out and a green light comes on. Uh, really, the maximum voltage you need to charge this is just 5 volts. I mean, you can go up, like I said, you can go up to 8, but there's really no reason to. And uh, your charger must should be able to put out at least one amps and I recommend at least one and a half amps. Uh, how does it work? Well I used it to add a charging circuit or a convert a Uniden scanner to run off of a lithium polymer battery and uh, I've tested it and it a 2400 milliamp hour battery lasted 7.5 hours. Uh, that was with an output voltage of 6 from the boost converter. I've since changed that to 5 and I probably can get about 8, 8 and a half hours now. I haven't actually tested it. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching.